because I want to talk about the border now. Oh, I guess my home away from home. Okay, got it. Make the liver a little smaller. That's a little better. I want to show you. I want to show you this line here. This line here. Get the, if you, I'll take the gallbladder a little bit. Assistant nurse in the way. This line here. This is the reflection of Glisson's capsule onto the, it becomes the peritoneum of the porta. And this is the reflection right here. And it comes up like this. It goes out the gallbladder faucet, you know, goes anterior uh, to the uh, bile duct, becomes the false form ligament. It goes back in here and it becomes Rouvier's sulcus over here, the incisure of dextra of Gann, which follows out uh, the uh, six, seven branches here. So the incisure of dextra of Gann will be out here. Because when you're starting a portal dissection, that's your landmark. That's what you see. You got the cystic duct out of the way there. And, uh, and, and so one begins one's incision uh, just on the portal side of this reflection to identify the portal vein. Now I want to talk about the portal vein. Portal vein. Right portal vein. This structure here, this is a little bit big in the model. This is a vein that's often a piddly little thing. It, it, it's often of no consequence. But in patients with portal hypertension, this can become a really significant vein. So particularly during transplant dissections, you'll often find this uh, vein uh, feeding many of the collaterals in the porta, um, the so-called cavernous transformation in patients who get portal vein thrombosis. Um, so uh, be cognizant of this vein. It doesn't have a name yet, so maybe some fellow will get named after them if they injure it frequently enough. The right portal vein, um, uh, of course, is out this way. This, this is the annoying vein here. It often comes off here. It's, a, it's the first posterior branch off of the right portal vein. It's actually a segment six vein. I'm sure it goes to six. And the annoying vein often comes off here, sometimes comes off a little more proximally. And I teach that in order to get around the right hepatic vein, you've got to identify and divide the annoying vein. Sometimes it's out far enough that you can get around the right portal vein with it, but almost always you need to find the annoying vein. The annoying vein has two brothers or cousins over on the other side. These are the caudate veins uh, off the left portal vein going to the caudate lobe, and there's almost always two of them. Maybe that's why there was a fad a few years ago about <laughs> segments one and segments nine, maybe the caudate lobe being both segments one and segment nine, although that's fallen out of favor these days. Do that at the bottom. They, they have separate ducts. They may they, they think of them as being separate uh, segments, but they're just pretty small. Anyways, so in, in the same sort of way, to get around the left portal vein, you almost always have to take these two caudate veins to get around to get around the left hepatic vein for a formal left hemihepatectomy. I think that's what I've got to say and how I think of these veins here. There are variations on portal anatomy. This is the classical portal anatomy where the portal vein bifurcates into a right portal vein of substantial length and a left portal vein. A common um, uh, anomaly or uh, a variation from the norm is um, uh, a separate 6, 7, and 5, 8 posterior sector anterior sector branches of the right portal vein with a short common, uh, with, with, with a short vein in between. Um, we, we see this not infrequently. Important to know, we've learned from the living donor experience that the ducts don't always follow the portal venous anatomy. So just because you see this doesn't mean you're going to have two ducts. The ducts are seen to be quite independent of the portal venous anatomy. The one uh, anatomic um, uh, variant that you really have to be cognizant of and watch for is this one, where the left portal vein comes off way over here. Now, some say this is the left portal vein, sorry, the right portal vein coming off the left, or you can say this is the bifurcation here, and this is an early takeoff of six, seven. That's sort of wordsmithing. But this, this, this is an anomaly you have to be very careful of if you're doing a right hemihepatectomy, uh, or if you're doing a left hemihepatectomy, you don't want to bag this branch uh, and take this as the left portal vein and, and lose uh, segments five and eight. So this, this is an important anomaly. 
Uh, it's not all that uncommon, and you need to be, you know, watch for it. Um, it should be totally um, 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 seen, by, by identified on your preoperative planning as you're looking carefully at the imaging. Uh, because I'll just be talking about this. Okay, I think those are the three correct guys.